So, <coughs> uh, first slide is what I also try to tell my students that uh, in a common process behind every project or development project, uh, you can see those four uh, core phases. First, definition, planning, execution, and closing the project. But uh, when speaking about product development processes, uh, it's a bit different. In most cases, uh, at the beginning, there is a need to understand what on earth we are actually doing. And uh, to enable that, uh, there is a need to find all kind of information, uh, both uh, on the needs and uh, the possibilities, how things can be realized. Uh, of course, there is a, the phase for creating something and making decisions, how to choose what are the most optional uh, paths uh, to proceed. Uh, design or, should I say, detailed design. And most importantly, uh, there should be also some room for testing your ideas, uh, fine-tuning, uh, fixing your uh, mistakes, and of course, at the end, reporting and, and showing the results. So, <coughs> quite often in the literature and also in uh, corporate practices, uh, the product development is thought to be a linear process, uh, divided in certain uh, working phases and decision-making uh, phases. And that's quite uh, rational, and that's quite good for uh, managing anything where a number of people are involved planning, concept development, system level design, product architecture design, detailed design, testing refinement, and then production ramp up, ramp up at the end. Uh, well, that's how it uh, goes in theory, and that's how it often goes in practice, at least partly. But from a designer's perspective, product design is also uh, something very non-linear. And therefore, uh, <coughs> I encourage my students to, to focus uh, more on the problem than, than following just the process, because uh, you cannot design or develop anything new without taking risks and without making mistakes. Of course, it's better if you uh, can find some tools for managing the risks uh, if they come through and learning for, from the mistakes, not doing the same mistakes again and again. <coughs> and uh, if you think uh, where the typical problems uh, are lying and, and what are the uh, most important success factors, should I just choose one single word? word? Uh, I would choose communication. <coughs> the more parties involved, uh, the more complex and big uh, problems we are handling, uh, the more there is space for efficient uh, communication and uh, unnecessary misunderstandings uh, based on that. Planned coincidences, there is an old saying that good players have luck, and uh, that is also something that can be assisted a bit. Uh, interaction, uh, uh, for instance, following this uh, quite well-known model introduced by IDEO Design Consultancy, uh, having these different perspectives, asking people, but there are many things that you cannot ask or the people are not uh, that able to give any answers. You can just uh, uh, be more neutral and uh, just watch things happening. You can try uh, to learn by yourself or just try things. Uh, so uh, the challenge is uh, what should you do first? It's not li linear that you can just uh, start with something and uh, proceed to the next step, but uh, <coughs> there is more the need to start several activities simultaneously. So. Uh, Start research, start prototyping, start, start definition uh, at the same uh, point of time. Because uh, whenever you 
uh, do something on, on another area, it will also uh, improve your understanding uh, on the other one. So prototyping in that sense is a key thing. But what is prototyping? Uh, in a corporate language, it's often used in a very limited way. That is something that uh, can be used for testing efficiency or, or reliability or, or functionality or something. Uh, but prototyping can be also uh, seen from a very wide perspective, starting from uh, just fast and simple sketches, illustrations, using uh, all possible software tools, making models, uh, mood boards, even uh, testing ideas with some sort of simple theater play, storyboards, or sound sketching. That is uh, that is something uh, quite important uh, and interesting and uh, uh, not that often uh, considered that uh, even at this pace we are uh, always surrounded by all kind of sounds that we don't pay that much attention uh, but uh, that are there and there are quite simple methods uh, for, for uh, doing this sound sketching as well. Uh, simple illustrations, more advanced uh, presentation, presentations, uh, using all possible uh, methods for uh, making three-dimensional tan tangible uh, models or, or prototypes uh, in less or more advanced ways. And uh, of course there are some uh, limitations that come from the skill set available. Uh, you can use simple materials, very fast processes for uh, producing something uh, quite nice and then you can spend more time and uh, <coughs> the, the result uh, might not be that good. But uh, just keeping in mind that uh, whatever tangible artifacts we are uh, having all day are designed uh, in a way. So. I will skip these examples because we are a bit uh, uh, behind the schedule, but uh, just uh, showing another approach that I don't recommend that much. Uh, I uh, took this picture from a science magazine uh, where some sort of power suit prototype is introduced to assist and help the nurses in their work in hospitals. You all know these problems of aging population and and uh, the, the uh, cost challenges, etc. So what would be nicer than a power suit that assists a nurse to have the power of 10 nurses and work very efficiently, efficiently at the uh, bed department. But as it said, uh, stated on the corner of the picture, that <coughs> uh, the design of this prototype is not very user friendly, but the idea is to improve it. Well, to be honest, do you really believe that uh, you can improve this prototype? Well, it might be possible, but uh, on the other hand, how much resources and time has already been wasted if you start the improvement of the design and usability at this point? Uh, also, uh, something that uh, might inspire you uh, are uh, the different viewpoints on quality. These are, have been introduced already uh, years and years ago, but it's still quite uh, uh, inspirational to think what quality actually means for the customer or user. Is it just a performance or additional features? What is available with this or that? Uh, but it's also reliability. Uh, how much uh, percentage of the uh, life the product or will really serve the customer uh, or confirms or durability, serviceability, aesthetics or the most tricky one, perceived quality, the reputation. So uh, to, to understand, to keep in mind and to master all these different perspectives to quality, uh, I think uh, it's important to uh, think really uh, for the uh, tool 
set and, and ways of working, how to proceed and, and work together. So <coughs> combining uh, different uh, techniques, brainstorming uh, and uh, related methods with simple and fast uh, prototyping, uh, team-based uh, methods uh, that uh, help the communication and uh, early testing of the ideas in practice and uh, collecting feedback from uh, all possible parties. Uh, prototyping in uh, using the uh, tools available in machine shops. Uh, <coughs> for instance, at the design factory we don't have any rapid prototyping uh, machines available at all, but of course we have access to those uh, in some other service providers. But uh, uh, it's a danger that if you have a hammer, then you always look for nails. So uh, it's really interesting what you can do with the basic uh, computer-controlled uh, machining, machining tools uh, for prototyping uh, purposes. Uh, at the design factory, you are welcome to uh, use our facilities for prototyping when it's uh, necessary and we also have uh, prototypes for uh, designing and prototyping electronics or embedded uh, automation systems. And uh, also wooden products, paint shops, testing environment uh, can be, uh, we can use also the, the uh, outdoor spaces. This is my welcome to Finland picture, early April, as you can see. Uh, we have actually some car related projects uh, there, uh, designing the infotainment system uh, for cars, weaker prototyping, and uh, perhaps this uh, <coughs> uh, is interesting. If you build something, uh, this is a scale model still, it's not uh, the original size, but it's, it's uh, uh, already four meters a crane that should be uh, used for the maintenance of windmills on the sea and uh, to design and build something uh, in a scale like this uh, it's really useful to start uh, with the simple scale models uh, testing the ideas and the principal ideas uh, in early phases as fast as possible before building the original size <coughs> 